It is late afternoon at the UNHCR Registration Center in Adri, Eastern Chad, yet this center is far from empty. Women and children push and shove as they wait for their names to be called out. They have been waiting all day in the blistering heat. These are newly arrived refugees. The UNHCR says there are about 2,000 of them. They're all waiting to be registered. That process begins at the border. Immediately they cross into Chad. The UNHCR gives them vaccination and a number. It is that number that they present here at the registration center. Now, on any given day, the UNHCR manages to register about a thousand of them, but they're long days, especially for the refugees, some of them with small children. The day typically begins at 7.30 in the morning, goes all the way until 5 p.m., each day of the week except Sunday. Today, we find Muriel Tori in the process of registration. She fled her home in El Jenaina, Sudan, after a grenade was thrown at her house and killed one of her children. She arrived with four other children who survived. When I arrived in Chad, I had nothing, so I looked for a job and got employed by a local family to till their land. I used that money to feed my children. But Mirel didn't stay long here in Adri. She went back looking for her husband and other family members who went missing when the attack on her home happened. A month later, she returned alone and with children depending on her for survival. The people that I came with got registered a long time ago and have been getting access to food, but I'm struggling to feed my children. That is why I have decided to get registered too. This is the first level of registration. The process is electronic and captures unique features of each refugee. It is a crucial process that ensures the refugees are protected and cared for. They get a ration card that ensures every few days they receive food from the World Food Program. And when we, we start with the relocation, and at that time, only the people are registered at the level one can be relocated. The UNHCR estimates between 100 to 1,000 refugees cross into Chad every day. At the moment, about 10,000 are awaiting registration. We need the generator at the registration center. So um, now we are using the, the backup with the, with the power bank, the big one. So um, that we need a lot of material and a lot of uh, many staff to do that, this job. Uh, but now, because of the fund, we can have a lot of many people, many staff to do the job. The refugee agency says a total of 630 million U.S. dollars is needed to adequately respond to this ongoing humanitarian crisis. However, only 4% of that amount has been received so far. Mirel may never really understand what the underfunding could mean to her and her children's survival. But for now, she rests in the comfort of having received her ration card, which means she can provide a meal and eventually shelter for her children. Penina Karibe CGTN in Adri, Eastern Chad.